Welcome to Discovery Kids Online. We are in the book of Judges. Let us remind you what happened in the book of Judges over and over and over again. The people would abandon God. Boo! God would let a king put his people into bondage. Not that! It would be so bad that the people had to cry out to God. Save us! God would send a judge to deliver the people. Goody! Then there would be a time of ease and peace. <sighs> well, until the judge died. Bummer. And then the people would abandon God again. Seriously? Seriously? Today we're going to see our latest judge, Samson. <laughs> I know, I know. He's impressive. <laughs> that I am. But I'm gonna be honest, guys. Oh, yeah. He may be super strong. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. You got tickets? You got tickets? 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 To the gun show! Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> but that's all he's got going for him. Oh. Guys, check this out. Do y'all wanna see me bench press a water buffalo? Oh, I do. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Samson from the book of Judges, chapters 13 through 16. Once again, the Israelites abandoned God, so God let the Philistines conquer them. Finally, the Israelites remembered something. <gasps> oh, oh, hey, when we loved and obeyed God, life was so much better. So the Israelites cried out to God and said, God, God save us! Deliver us! And God heard his people. Goody! Time for a little backstory on our judge. Among the Israelites, there was a husband and wife. And they could not have any children. <laughs> but then, one day, an angel of the Lord appeared to them. Woo! Hey, guess what? Guess what? You're going to have a baby, a baby boy. Get ready for some special instructions straight from God. Never cut his hair. Never? never? Oh, never, ever. He's going to be set apart for God from the day he's born. He's going to save the Israelites from the Philistines. When the baby was born, they named him Samson. <gasps> wow, he's really strong. Oh, 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 he's like really strong. Oh, oh. Samson grew up and God made Samson very, very strong. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. One day, Samson saw a Philistine woman. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi to you. <laughs> Did you see that? Yes, yes, I saw that. But, but she's not an Israelite. She's a Philistine. She's one of the enemy. Who cares? She is right in my eyes. <laughs> Mom! 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 Dad! I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Super strength out. I just saw the woman I want to marry. Oh, no, no, no. It, oh, excuse me, folks. She's a Philistine, so that's just not going to work out. You, you're not going to be able to... Wait, oh. I want her. Make it happen. Samson and his parents went to meet the young woman. As Samson journeyed along the road, a lion jumped out and attacked him! Put him up, put him up! But Samson <laughs> killed the lion. Uh, now get this, uh, excuse me. Uh, later, bees came. And they made honey in the lion's body. Bees, bees. Bees, And Samson ate the honey. Try it. Honey in that lion. Delicious. Okay, okay, enough about the lions and the bees. It's time for a wedding. At the wedding. Samson had a riddle for the Philistines. Ooh, yes, Ooh. Love that. I've got a doozy for you. Ooh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Ooh, got this. Out of the eater comes something to eat. Okay, eater, eater. Okay. Out of the strong. Yeah. Come something sweet. Okay. The riddle was about the lion Samson had killed and the honey. 
but they couldn't figure it out. So they went to Samson's bride. Get Samson to tell you the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Oh, sweetie pie. Yes, honey. What's the answer to your riddle? <laughs> like I'm gonna tell you. Um, but what? if you if you really loved me, oh, you would tell me. <laughs> no, don't cry. I, I hate it when you cry. You know that. <laughs> uh, uh, fine, just just stop. Come here. Okay. Yeah. Samson told her the riddle's answer. Oh, 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 Samson! Yes, yes. Yeah. We know the answer. Uh -huh. Okay. It's a dead lion with a beehive inside. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Samson was so angry about that whole riddle thing, he actually went out and set a bunch of the Philistines' fields on fire. He, he did. did what? Oh, yeah, and the Philistines were so angry about that that, well, Samson, he had to leave town and go to a new city. In this new city, Samson fell in love with a woman named Delilah. All right, away you go. <clears throat> How you doing? Well, aren't you a big pile of manly muscles? <laughs> I tried to lift some rocks. The Philistines went to Delilah. You just wait right there with all those rippling pectorals, and I'll be right back. Get Samson to tell you the secret of his strike. Yeah. Oh, and if you do that, we'll reward you. Uh -huh. Leave it to me. Yes. <clears throat> so, what makes you such a big, strong boy? <clears throat> well, you know, the, the green veggies, the spinach, and uh, I eat those every day. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on now. I mean, what makes all those other men so weak and pathetic oh. and you so strong? Oh, but, uh, uh, well, uh, well, mm, 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 fine, 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 fine. If you were to tie me up in seven fresh bowstrings, I'd be weak. Oh. That was not true. No, it wasn't, because I tried it, and he just broke those bowstrings. Samson, you lied to me. You made me look foolish. Oh, come on, Delilah. It was just a little joke. Well, I didn't think it was funny. It was a little bit funny. Now, tell me the truth. What? Okay. Fine. The truth is, if you were to tie me up with brand new, never been used rope, I would be weak. <sighs> that was also not true. Tell me about it. Those ropes were brand new, and he just broke those too. Samson. What? You lied to me again. Yeah, yeah well, OK, here's the truth. You see this beautiful hair? Mm-hmm. If you were to weave it in a loom, I'd be weak. I, I swear, it's the truth. Okay. Guess what? He lied to me again. That loom did nothing. Samson! What? No. Don't you love me? I do love you. You know that, Delilah. No, you don't. Because if you really loved me, you would tell me the secret of your strength. Stop crying. Why do they always cry? I hate it when they cry. Okay, fine, fine. Stop, stop. Just stop. It's the hair, okay? The what? It's, it's the hair. If I've never cut my hair. If you were to cut my hair, I would be weak. Yes! I mean, Sammy, you do love me. Of course I love you. <laughs> We've got it. Yes. yes! When Samson was sleeping, the Philistines cut his hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Samson, wake up. 
the Philistines are here to kill you. Oh, the Philistines, Philistines. All right, where are they? But let me have a wait. I don't. I'm dizzy. I don't feel so good. Samson wasn't strong anymore. What's going on? Oh, boys. Yeah! Oh, we got it! We got it! strong anymore. <laughs> the Philistines took Samson away in chains. They blinded him and made him their prisoner. Hold it, hold it. I thought God was supposed to use Samson to defeat the Philistines. Oh, yeah, but <laughs> the story, it isn't quite over yet. <laughs> One day, many of the Philistine rulers were gathered in the temple. Thousands of people were there, and Samson was brought in. Come on. They placed him between two of the pillars in the temple. Samson cried out to God, God, please give me strength just one more time. And God gave him strength. And he pushed on the pillars. <sighs> and the temple collapsed. <laughs> The Philistines in the temple died. Even Samson died. Oh, but, but wait, but wait, he did it. He did it. With God's help, Samson saved the Israelites. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The end. end. Now, Samson, he may have been amazingly strong, <laughs> but he wasn't a very good judge. Well, I mean, come on. He was arrogant, he had anger issues, always picked the wrong woman. Yeah. And you know what? The worst, he didn't love and obey God. I mean, think about it. The only time we saw this guy praying in the whole story was at the end when he was all weak and pathetic. Yeah, oh, oh. Now here's the cool part. The Bible tells us that we have a judge, a perfect judge, a judge who loves us so much that he sent his son to die for us. So uh, who's our judge? God. God! That's right. Hey, take a minute right now and answer this question. Hey guys, we were so glad you were with us today. Check out some of our other stories and our worship videos. We'll see you next time.